Hello everybody, it's Thad, producer of the History Dweebs podcast, here with a History Dweebs short. What if I told you that we weren't really living in 2024? What if I told you that we were living in 1724? You might say, Thad, you're hitting the gummies a little too hard. And I would say, there's an actual theory out there called... Phantom Time Theory, and it's a theory by German scientist Herbert Elig. And basically what good old Herbie has to say is that the years 614 to 911 AD, basically the Middle Ages, never happened. So Elig argues that this period was actually completely made up. Uh, he says it was made up by Holy Roman Emperor Otto III. Pope Sylvester II, and Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII. So Elig first put forth his theory in his 1996 book, The Invented Middle Ages, The Greatest Time Falsification in History. So during his exhaustive investigation, Elig compared the dating of the Julian calendar, which was implemented by Julius Caesar in 45 BC, to that of the currently used Gregorian calendar introduced by Pope Gregory in 1582 AD. He claims that, by his calculations, about 297 years appear to be missing. So the theory goes that Pope Sylvester II and Holy Roman Emperor Otto III, uh, they lived during the 8th century AD. And these medieval elites, they wanted to speed up time so that their respective reigns would correspond with the year 1000, exactly one millennium after the birth of Jesus Christ. But how are you going to just make up 300 years? Ah, they had a plan. So in order to conceal their manipulations from future generations, Otto and Sylvester hired scribes. Their job was to write and duplicate medieval manuscripts that basically made up events and people during that time. According to Elig, famous historical figures like Alfred the Great, the monarch of England who drove out the Vikings, and Charlemagne the monarch of the Franks and the so-called founder of Europe were among the fabrications. Now I know what you're thinking. Thad, this guy just sounds like a complete wackadoo, but he's not actually the only one that shares this theory. It is also the belief of mathematics professor Anatoly Fomenko of Moscow State University that civilization began in 800 AD, and that the Middle Ages are when classical Greece, Imperial Rome, Dynasty China, Pharaonic Egypt, and other historical societies truly existed. Anatoly also goes on to say that the Bible, the New Testament, was written before the Old, the Crusades and the Trojan War were actually the same thing, and that Genghis Khan and Attila the Hun were actually the same person. So after all that, here's where conspiracy theory and science butt heads. Even though there aren't many authentic manuscripts from the early Middle Ages on the European Peninsula, uh, there is ample evidence that these centuries did exist thanks to artifacts and texts from Asia, Africa, Australasia, and the Americas. And nature itself bears witness to these so-called missing centuries. Tree rings act as a time capsule and records from antiquity. And of course, you can't ignore astronomical events like solar and lunar eclipses, which are well recorded and can be seen that they happened in different centuries. Now, despite the implausibility, it has been pretty difficult to dispute. One reason for this is that conspiracy theories as a whole are more emotional than logical. If someone holds a belief that there are 300 years missing from our calendar, it's kind of hard to dispel that because of a deep-rooted mistrust in authority, something that we still deal with today, in 2024 or 172024, whichever you believe. Did Charlemagne actually exist? More than likely. But I wasn't there. So who knows?